Hey guys, it's Max. So it is Friday, which means we will be doing our art show for the week. Um, we didn't get too many people to send in stuff this week, so I'm going to need for next week we get as many as possible. So make sure if you do a really good job in any of your workbook pages or you create something really good, make sure you send it to us. So I will turn the camera around and we will go over what we made this week. Our Pied Piper art show. Um, you'll see lots of different pieces up on our windows. This is all three groups, though. Last week, I had lots of stuff from each group. This week, I only got a few things from each group. So we did one big art show. So there's the beginner, intermediate, and pre-K group all on the windows here. So I need more people for next week. So the beginner group, we had Bria Thompson sent in two different things. She sent in a really good workbook page here where she connected the things that are opposite. So she did a really, really good job on this one. The lines were perfect. This page, she did coloring following the color code. So she had pink uh, cotton candy and a gray goat. So we'll move over here to the intermediate group where we had Michael G and Carter send in stuff. So Michael G did a really, really good job painting. It looks like maybe finger painting. Love all the different use of colors. Carter created this piece of, of artwork. And then Carter also made this piece of artwork down here that I believe is lots of trees. Um, he did a really, really good job on the trees. And then I think diamonds too, really good job. And then Michael G, I think, looks like he built stuff with wood. Looks like maybe a table for a game and maybe a construction set. As we move over, these two are our pre-Ks. Now, pre-Ks had the most, but they also have the most kids. So you guys should be sending me the most stuff. So Charlie P, we had lots of stuff from the, the triplets again this week. They are doing a really, really good job submitting stuff. He did the flag of Mexico, that red, white, and green. Did a really, really good job, especially with the brown in the middle. He stayed in those lines. Kiara did a really, really good job on her animal sounds. Draw a line between the animals whose names have the same beginning sound. She looked at that first letter and did a really, really good job of connecting the ones with the same. Charlie, again, with a really good job. He created this art project that says, we love our teachers and we miss you guys dearly. We really do. Evelyn, Evelyn T did a really, really good job on one of the art projects. Look at all those flowers. What a fantastic job coloring and also cutting them out. Harold did a really good job. Again, it says, we love our teachers. Love all the stickers on there. We'll head on up to here where Ella made hers too. And we love it. She even drew some stuff on there right in the bottom corner. She did a really, really good job. We have Evelyn with her Mexican hat. Must have been for Cinco de Mayo. She did a really, really good job on that hat. All different sorts of colors. Very colorful. Uh, Harold, again, what a great job. Look at how great of a job he did staying in those lines. Following the color code. That R-W-N-G. The red, white, and green. What a fantastic job. Same with Ella. Oh my goodness. Those triplets did such a good job on those front pages. What a great job staying in those lines. And last, Kiara did another great job with the page. She followed those numbers all the way to the end. So, that's it for our art show this week. We didn't have a lot of submissions, but I'm very, very proud of everyone who did submit. Um, next week, let's make sure we get more submissions. I need some more yellow groupers. I need some more blue groupers, and I definitely need lots more pre-K stuff. So send it to Max by email or text message, and I will print them out, and I will get them on the next week's art show.